What's happening? We back. Sweetwater Park, Georgia out here. Cold day, I ain't gonna fake. Came out here to show y'all what's in my bag, 2017. Let's get it. Check it. This is uh, what's in my bag, 2017. Guess the first thing I should start out with. This is my bag. This is a uh, bag I picked up from Zara. Very kind of inexpensive, but I like the uh, thin straps. I like the uh, overall look of it. As the years go on, I'm getting lighter and lighter with what I'm carrying. I got my iPad, 12 inch, 256 gigabyte, with the. Uh, keyboard attached. This is my go-to every day for all of my production use. Next up is my CME X-Key Air. I love this thing. It's Bluetooth. Uh, connects very well to my iPad as well as uh, my other devices, my, my iPhone and stuff like that. It's very thin, very lightweight, and I guess I should show you the X-Key Air travel bag. It's great because uh, you definitely need some protection with these thin keys. Keep that on deck. Next up, my Anchor, a power bank, 26,000 800 milliamp battery. Uh, picked this up from Amazon for about $50. It has three ports and uh, pretty much can charge all of my devices all together. Kind of has some heft to it, but I love it. Y'all hear that wind? Shit, the wind is crazy out here today. Next up is my Zoom U22 Handy Audio Interface. I basically plug this thing into my iPad. I can connect uh, my computer, my iPhone to my iPad. Uh, I can connect a mic. I connect any type of little jacks here and there. And this is just a handy tool for when you're trying to get sounds into your iPad using some of your software that you have there, some of your app. Fairly inexpensive off of Amazon. Up next is my Rolly Blocks. I have the Rolly Blocks light pad block as well as the loop block. Overall, this thing has been kind of cool. I feel like with updates to the app software, it'll get even better. The touch response could be better. Uh, the overall app could be better, but uh, I like what they're trying to do with the small, sophisticated pad here and everything that you can do with it. So I uh, appreciate what Rolly's doing, and uh, hopefully it'll get better with the app. Because right now in the app, you can't even export your creations out of the uh, app, which hinders me from trying to do anything more to the sounds that I create with this. But I believe that they'll come out with updates that'll make that better. One of my go-to things that I first found out when I got my iPad was how to make my sound beefier. And this is a Fio A3, Fio A3. What this does is a headphone amp that I use to plug into any headphones or any uh, auxiliaries when I'm in the studio or anything like that. I plug one side into the headphone jack, one side, phone, one side into my iPad. Type of, uh, you know, overall music presence that you get from just plugging this into your iPad to your to your headphones and stuff like that is amazing. Yeah, damn bugs all over me. Yeah. I have the Apple camera adapter USB 3 port, which is easy when I'm in the studio and I need bigger keyboards or even when I hook up other things to my iPad. I use this and it connects to into my charging port that gives me more power to power other devices to my iPad. This works well. Native Instruments Tractor Headphone Splitter. I use this well if I'm doing any type of uh, mobile DJ gigs and stuff like that using my iPad. I usually use DJ Pro software. Works well. Good little good little accessory. I use shit. Next up is my Shure MV88. It's a little lightning plug microphone. As you can see, it has stereo microphones left and right as well as the front facing microphone. I use this for all of my overdubs in my videos as well as when anytime I'm sampling sounds out here in the wilderness, out here anywhere. Uh, works well with my iPhone, works well with my iPad and uh, I create great, great sounds with this and has great audio quality and I love this thing. Of course, next up is my Apple AirPods. I use these all the time. The best Bluetooth range, they're the most convenient. The battery life is incredible, specifically since the battery case is actually a charger itself. I love this. I can't say too much more about the AirPods. They're dope as fuck. Up next is this Hutu USB to lightning 64 gig, no is it 64? Yeah, 64 gig uh, flash drive. I plug this one side into my uh, iPad or my iPhone, get files off of it. I go in the studio and I plug this right into the computer and we start working. Very handy, very convenient when you're in 
trying to transfer files and stuff like that. And uh, fits on your keychain or something like that so you always have it on the go. I love it. Next up is the Be Unique By Myself handy accessory bag that I use. I carry a lot of my accessories. As you can see, I have more accessories like little dongles for your headphone, wiping pads, carry, you know, my battery pack, my chargers and stuff in here. Great handy case to carry in your bag, carry all your stuff. I've been using Audio Technia ATH M50X headphones for the last five, six years. These are my favorite go-to headphones. I've been using them forever. This is a custom build that I built with the all-white headphones, custom black ear pads, from Amazon, they're a little bit more comfy, as well as a little uh, headband sleeve, I don't know, something like that. Sometimes the top of these headphones can get really crackly and stuff like that over time, so I use that to protect these. Audio-Technica ATH and 50X headphones, I have at least four or five pair, I love these. And what I'm shooting on right now is my Sony A6300 with the Rode Video Micro, and hopefully the sound sounds good enough for me to post this shit. And what I use with that, this is a power hand grip. It's actually a 5200 milliamp battery inside this hand grip. So I charge my A6300 when I'm video recording on the go with it. I have my 24 millimeter 1.8 power size lens on there. And that's pretty much what's in my bag every day. Hopefully the wind didn't catch uh, too much of this bad noise. Out here at Sweetwater Park, it's actually hella peaceful. I'm about to make a beat or some shit. Yo, so that was a look at what's in my bag in 2017. Hopefully you found something useful. All the links of everything that I have in my bag will be in the description below. Uh, hopefully you check out more of what I got going on. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Peace out.